Imagine a dish so sinfully delicious, it's almost a crime to eat. Picture strands of perfectly al dente pasta, glistening with a creamy, velvety sauce. Specks of crispy, smoky pancetta scattered throughout, adding a delightful crunch to every bite. A generous sprinkle of freshly grated Pecorino Romano cheese melts into the warm pasta, the sharp salty notes perfectly balancing the rich creaminess. This, dear friends, is pasta alla carbonara, a classic Italian dish that is as indulgent as it is easy to make. Begin with the star of the show, the pasta. Use spaghetti for a traditional carbonara or feel free to substitute with your favorite pasta shape. Boil a pot of water, salt it generously and cook the pasta until it's al dente, meaning it still has a firm bite. While the pasta cooks, shift your attention to the pancetta. Dice it into small bite-sized pieces and fry in a hot pan until it becomes crispy. The rendered fat from the pancetta is packed with flavor and it'll be used to create the creamy sauce later on. Next, crack open two large eggs into a bowl, add a generous amount of grated Pecorino Romano cheese and a good grind of black pepper. Whisk it all together until it's well combined. This egg and cheese mixture is the magic behind Carbonara's iconic creamy sauce. Now the pasta should be ready. Before draining it, save a cup of the pasta water. This starchy water is a secret ingredient that helps emulsify the sauce, making it silky and glossy. Onto the combining stage, drain the pasta and add it to the pan with the crispy pancetta. Toss it all together, allowing the pasta to soak up that delicious pancetta fat. Then remove the pan from the heat. This is crucial as the next step involves adding the egg and cheese mixture. You want the heat to be gentle enough to create a creamy sauce, not scrambled eggs. Pour the egg and cheese mixture onto the pasta and stir vigorously. The heat from the pasta will cook the egg slightly, resulting in a creamy, velvety sauce. If the sauce is too thick, add a bit of the reserved pasta water to loosen it up. The end result should be a beautifully creamy pasta, coated in a golden, glossy sauce. Garnish with a final sprinkle of Pecorino Romano and a good grind of black pepper and voila! You've just made pasta a la carbonara. In summary, making pasta a la carbonara involves cooking pasta and crispy pancetta, creating a creamy sauce with eggs and cheese and combining it all together with a bit of pasta water. It's a simple process that results in a dish that's truly indulgent and satisfying. Now, all that's left to do is to dig in and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Buon appetito!